US Army Quartermaster Supply Catalog, list of items for troop issue, and list of men's clothing and equipment. May 1946, basically, it's just a carry on from the August 1943, so it is wartime. Always handy to have these, as I've said, because it goes into, you name it, it's in it. Excellent reference for the collector. Every type of boot that was issued to the US forces. Literally, everything's in it that was held by the quartermaster's store at the time for US Army issue. Rubber boots, stuff that you're never going to see anymore. And it's the kind of stuff that, if you saw it about, you would wonder what it is. Mukluk boots. 1938 leggings, I'm sure you all know what they are. Waders. Socks. Coats, jackets. All the field jackets that were on available at the time. 1943 jackets. Poncho. Overcoats, um, field parkers, overparkers, butchers jackets, shirts, sweaters. Again, it's, it's a minefield of information for the collector because you have the pattern, you have the serial numbers, everything. Stock numbers, trousers, breeches, belts, suspended equipment. Browning automatic rifle belt, mag pouches, which you, you've seen in a few of the videos that I've done, suspenders, every conceivable type of glove, and you've got the breakdown of the hats, the headgear, the helmets, the complete helmet, individual bits, liner helmet for the parachutist, there's something you don't often see, helmet, winter M1 liner, you don't often get them. Hoods for jackets, winter face masks, neckties, handkerchiefs, and you have of interest to the reenactor, and this is the stuff that fascinates me. Individual equipment, knife, fork, spoons, mess tins for quite a lot of this in the collection, dog tags, pouches, duffel bags, packs. Match containers, pack boards, combat packs, skis, repair pits, repair kits for skis, pocket knives, goggles, ski boots, ski shoes, skis, ski poles. Mosquito or tropical gear, sleeping bags. I've got one of those, they are really good, lined with chicken feathers. Mine's 44 dated. Hammocks, insect barriers, tent shelter halves, camp axes. Well, well worth sorting out, They're well worth looking for. Just troll eBay. These and the other ones belong to uh, an old guy in one of the nearest towns. He was in his 70s and he collected all sorts of technical manuals. And his wife was selling all sorts at the local um, yard sale. And I bought these from her and quite a lot more for next to nothing. They're just really interesting items. So that's the Enlisted Man's Clothing and Equipment, May 1946. But basically it's just a reprint of the 1943 edition.